Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the code 10 error you're getting if you're having issues with your keyboard or mouse. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you want to do that by left clicking on the start button once and then you want to type in regedit so R-E-G-E-D-I-T Best matcher comes up should say regedit. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now you want to expand the H key local machine subfolder by either double clicking on it or left clicking on the little arrow next to it. Now you want to do the same thing for the system folder right here. Now you want to do it for current control set right here and then do it for control. Now I'm going to expand the view a little bit so we can see where we're going. And now there should be a folder named class right here. You want to just left click on this folder right here. And while this is selected you want to go up to the edit tab at the top. Left click on it once. Left click on find. Now I'm going to have this in the description of the video. Now for the keyboard fix I'm going to be pasting this in directly into this find what field. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to select find next. Please keep in mind you should be underneath the class folder when you initiate the search. It's very important you do that. Now there should be something already in here. It says upper filters KBD class. You see that I've already created it. If you do not see one in here, all you have to do, I'm just going to just delete it. I don't want to confuse anybody. So assuming that your entries in here look like that, you want to right click on this folder that we searched for on the left side here, this 4D36E96B. And I'm not going to even attempt to read that whole thing there. But I'm going to right click on it, left click on new, and then I'm going to select multi string value. And now I'm going to type in upper filters and I just hit enter to save the name you can see that is the name of it right here now we want to right click on it and then left click on modify in value data you want to type in KBD class all lowercase I'm gonna just paste it in again I will have this in the description of the video and then you want to click on OK Okay, so that should hopefully resolve your keyboard problems. If you're experiencing mouse problems, I'm going to just left click on the class folder again, go up to edit, go to find, and left click on that. Now I'm going to delete whatever is in find what, and I'm going to instead paste in what I have for the mouse folder here. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in, click on find next. Again, you can see we have selected this folder, and there's an upper filters folder in here. I'm going to delete it. I don't want to confuse everybody. So we have this folder on the right side. We do not see any upper filters, so we're going to have to create one. So for this folder, again, we're going to right click on it, left click on new, left click on multi string value. Now you want to name it upper filters again. This time I'm just going to paste the name in. I don't feel like typing it again. So I'm going to name it upper filters. And now I'm going to take this MOU class. That's going to be the binary data that we had in the other one, similar to the KBD class we did earlier. Except you got to keep in mind we're in a different folder here. So just please keep that in mind. We're not on the same folder we were on the previous walkthrough. So I'm going to right click on the upper filters here, left click on modify. I'm going to paste in this MOU class, click on OK. And there we go, guys. I should note, if you get any pop-ups along the way, you can just click on OK. Don't worry about it. And then I recommend closing out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and your problem should hopefully have been resolved at this point. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.